Hey guys, Rob with AIM. Just wanted to go over the uh, the third principle that we talked about in our Swimming 101 series, and that's about breathing. Okay, if you're jumping onto video number three here and you haven't looked at one and two, you need to stop and go back, okay? The reason being is breathing is all about implementing the hydrodynamics of staying tall, incorporating horizontal, all right? As you start to go down the lane, imagine if you see me swimming and you're watching me from the side. If this is my body, I need to have full rotation so that my mouth breaks the surface of the water. One of the biggest problems that we see with athletes is they tend to pick their head up to breathe instead of rotating. That causes your hips to drop. You overkick to get your hips back up. You run out of air. So instead of waiting to rotate, you pick your head back up, and then you're in a vicious cycle. So we want you to break that pattern as quickly as it starts, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a drill. We call it side kick, rotate, side kick, okay? Um, at first, it's going to seem really difficult, so you have to be patient with it. It's not going to come across easy, but it's all about balance. If you focus on balance, it'll work for you, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay on my left side. I'm going to kick 12, 6 to 12 times. I'm going to rotate away from you. I'm going to then kick on my other side. Now, the key is, is to always have the arm up as high as in the water as you possibly can, making it kicking your way down, all right? So check this out. couple things to look for. First of all, you're using your legs. Heart rate's going to go up and your need for oxygen is going to go up, all right? If you're staying horizontal in the water, you notice, if you have to review the, rewind the video back, notice that my mouth has plenty of room to break the surface. That's because I'm pressing my armpit down, brings my hips up. As long as I'm staying tall in the water, my mouth breaks the water line, I can breathe all day long, okay? The other thing that you'll realize is that I'm trying to keep the top of my hip as close to the surface as possible. The only way I can do that is by pressing my armpit down. All right? Notice that my legs are kicking this way, so there's no way I can bring the elevation of my hips up with kick. That's what makes this drill difficult. Okay? But if you work on balance, the kick, this drill is not that difficult. All right? Notice that I'm looking forward when I'm kicking, then I breathe, and then I look back forward again. Don't look to the side. That's not how you swim. You swim looking forward. So you always want to get back to that position. All right? Here we go. So there's a drill that incorporates staying tall, pressing your shoulder blades in or your chest down. Again, go back and review the video. Notice how much time I had to breathe. I could breathe in really deep, okay? That's going to tie in your diaphragmic breathing, which is also going to help with your buoyancy. Make sure you're kicking from the hips. So take the time to really pay attention to that. That drill will get you very, very strong. If you have a hard time moving down the lane, feel free to put zoomers, the small fins, or if you have regular, you know, any type of fin for that matter, but the shorter the fin, the better, because what we don't want you to do is rely on big feet. We want you to rely on balance first, then move yourself down the lane. So take your time, take the time to absorb it and learn it, and until next time, thanks for watching.